Cindy Casillas. I'm the band director at Live-By Middle School in Saipan. And I'm just here tonight to help you get ready for UIL. And it, when you go to UIL, there will be three judges. Tonight is just one. And I'm just looking to see that you know the procedure. And obviously you knew about how to come into the room. So you're off to a good start. Um, and <coughs> the first thing is the big question. This organization will be reading on Dante and Allegro which has been chosen for Conference 3C non-varsity. Is this the first conference for your organization? Has this organization or any of its student members heard, read, rehearsed, or performed the selection at any time prior to this conference? Would you like the rules read to me? Your timing will begin when your conductor asks you to turn over the music. She opens his door. He opens his door. Excuse me. Uh, and good luck. Okay. <coughs> center yourselves on that row like you did on stage. Go ahead and scoot over a chair. Everybody, make sure your chairs are kind of where they are. In the <coughs> see your face, you probably can't see me. So like this front to stand right here needs to be low. There you go. Okay, front of your chair. Ready? Go. Put your finger on the key sign. We're in the key of E flat concert. A flat. That means critical note A flat as we're going through. We're finding first valve B flats in the trumpets, third positions in the trombones, A's. First valve in the tuba and baritone on A. I want you to scan across and find the first three. B flat in the, in the clarinet, F natural in the saxophone, pinky A flat in the flute. Okay, show me the fingering for the first critical note that you found. Gotta move quick. Okay, fingering from the beginning. This, is, this style is very similar to what we do in the middle part of Core of Discovery. Everything's very smooth and connected. You're getting air between the notes, and you're sounding the way that you normally sound. Melody is anyone that has quarter notes at the end of measure one. Ready? From the top, fingering along, no sounds. One, two, fingers only go. Measure one, two, three, four, two. Count through this half note, get it all the way to beat four. One, two, three, four. Four bar phrases, bring out moving notes. Here's measure five. If you change to all whole notes right there, get out of the way. Trombones, bring out measure six. Show me how you're going to finger the second note of measure six, trombones. Here we go. Ready? Start at five. We have measure numbers. One, two, measure five, and measure five, two, three, four, six. You're keeping the air going. Count three dotted half notes. Seven, two, three. Fill up between the notes. Two, three, stay strong until nine. We're piano. Three, four, ten. Two, count through the half note. Four, eleven. Two, air through the crescendo. Keep going, keep going. Three, four, thirteen. Full. Melody is anyone that has quarter notes in measure thirteen at the end of the measure. Raise your hand if you're melody. If you're not, you're under that. Ready? Thirteen. This is big. One, two, and look what's coming up. Thirteen. Stay strong. Three, four, fourteen, sorry, six, yeah, three, four, we're going to slow down. Two, three, four, one, two, and then you hold, eyes are on me. Release completely. New tempo, allegro, going to be more like moderato. Be medium, but um, a firmer tongue. Do not sput and shorten notes, just tongue more firmly at 17. Touching the music where you're going to start tonguing more firmly. 
Here's 17. Ready? Set. One take, two take, 17. 17, two, three, four. 18, two, three, four. 19, it's four bar phrases. And 20, two, hold through the half note, breathe. 21, two, three, four. Some of you drop out on beat four and 21. Make sure you give that rest one full count and eyes on me for beat one. The rest of you who have beat four, make it lead across the bar line. Here's 21. One, two, set, and now. 21, two, three, four. 22, two, three, four. 23, two, firm times, four. It's still forte. Two, three, four. 25, still firm times, but it goes to piano. And the only people that play on beat four through here are percussion. So make sure you think a full beat four and tap your foot right there on beat four and stay silent. Critical notes in the flutes here, 25. Critical notes in the trumpets, one, two, 25, and now. 25, two, three, 26, two, three, four, 27, two, air through the measure. We're still piano, one, two, three, 29, forte. One, two, three, four, it's the same idea but stronger. 31, 2, keep making sounds like you do on stage. Here comes 33, lows are in, count like crazy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 33, 4, 2, melody is in the people who have all notes all through the measure. 3, 4, air through the 8 notes. Your general explanation period is over. 33, 2, ready, and 1, 2, take 3, 4, take 1, 2, 3, Four take one, two take three, four take one, two take three, take lots of air. Two take three, four take one, two three, four take one, count like crazy. Four one, two take three, forty one, one, two take three, critical note, and one, two take three, four, one, two take three, four, one, air in the eighth notes, and one, two take three, critical note, and one, two take three, four, one, two take three, four, one, two take three. And you look up for the last note and freeze. Okay, go back to 25. Ready? Set. Air between the notes. Sound the way you sound on stage. One, two, 25 fingers. One, two, three, ding. One, two, three, and one, two, take three. For fronts. One, two, air in the notes. Strong. One, two, three, percussion. One, two, three, percussion. One, two, take three. Think numbers on the whole note. One, two, here's 33. One, two, take three, four, take one, two, three, four, take one. Stay strong when the other people drop out woodwinds. Two, take three, take four, take one, two, take three, firm fronts. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, take hold, 41. Two, take three, four, one, two, take three, four, count like crazy on quarter rest. One, two, take three, take air on the lows. One, two, take three, four, one, two, take three, four, one, two, take three, four, one, two, take three. Back up, please. Two, four before 17. Ready? This is all like the middle part of four of discovery. So you think, not much time, connected notes, legato. Ready? Right there. Two, set, and. One, air between the one notes, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, we all hold air, release, 17, one, two, take three, four, get it, get it, okay, look at the beginning, one, two, fingers, go, one, Try not to breathe the bar lines till the fourth measure. Vibrato in the flutes. Three. You see the big thing here is when you've got the half notes in the middle of the measure, you've got to count. And you need to understand somewhere else in the hand they're probably moving on your off beat. Raise your hand if that makes sense. So you just got to count. Keep the air between the notes. Okay, I've turned your music back over at this point.
Matthias is going to talk to us a little bit about explanation period, how we handle the performance, things we can take and move forward. Parents, we appreciate you being here tonight. This will just take a few more minutes, and then uh, we'll be ready for you guys to uh, move on. Okay. Overall, a very good job. How many of you are at your very first time to do this in public? I kind of figured that because it, you're mostly seventh graders, correct? Okay, so really good job. You're paying attention um, to what he's teaching you to do, and that's really important. Yet you do look a little stiff. And one of the things you want to do is when you're nervous, you still have to really calm your mind and allow yourself to actually hear the words. I can tell you're trying really hard to pay attention, but I can also see your eyes kind of going pew, 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 because you're nervous. So you want to kind of take a deep breath and go, the soft right here with him, the same person you see every day in class, and just kind of let everything else go away. And it'll make it a little bit easier to do. Uh, don't be afraid to adjust at all. That was the first time I saw that. When he got up on the podium and asked you to adjust your stands, a lot of you were like, no, I'm not moving. <laughs> okay, so you want to make sure you go ahead and adjust because you guys are usually on risers, right? So that's really different, isn't it? So make sure you get a viewpoint where you can really see him and feel really good about the communication that you have with your director because he can do lots of things to help you as the sight reading process goes on. Just by looking at you and showing you these things. So don't be afraid to do that. <coughs> Respond really quickly when he asks you to do something. Most of you did. Okay? But don't be afraid to hold up your horn and, and show him that you're using first valve and things like that because that is just a, a point of communication that keeps you guys together. Um, really good job fingering. In the second instruction period, some of you didn't quite come back to the same place and kind of drifted off. And that's easy to do because it's a really long time never thought of seven minutes as being that long. So make sure you come back to the exact same position and really make sure you keep the mouthpiece off of your face. There were a few of you who went to your mouth